and we are up to part five. Yeah, I'm doing these fast because I, you know, I, I'm trying to make up for lost time. Uh, this is a comedy that came out in 1994. Came out two years after Home Alone 2. Written by John Hughes. I, I miss John Hughes. I love his writing and his directing. It's a slapstick comedy, but you know, it's fun. I had fun. I laughed. Every time I watched this movie, I laughed my ass off. And it's better than a lot of the comedies today that are just depend on sexual jokes and gross-out humor and just stupid things. But that is Baby's Day Out. Yeah, this was a box office fail. But John Hughes' writing saves this film. I think it's very funny. The three guys here are hilarious. Uh, Joe Mantagna, Joe Pataliano, and this guy. I forgot his name. The baby's adorable. I think he's very cute. Um, I love Laura Flynn Boyle in this film. I think she does a good performance. I've always thought, found her sexy. I love her voice. I think she's very, you know, very, very appealing to me. Uh, the film's not too long. It's like about 90 minutes, I believe. Um, it doesn't say it here. Well, anyway, it's still a very funny movie. If you don't want to see, if you want to see something fun after Home Alone 2, see this. Because Home Alone 3, it that was a disaster. Uh, the only good thing in that movie is the traps at the end. But this film, it kind of has like the same slapstick as Home Alone. Very funny, very cute. A fun family movie, you know, not too much CGI. There's still a lot of great practical effects in there for the of the baby and the gorilla and all that stuff. You know, really funny stuff. It's going to be, it's 20 years old now because it came out in 94 and it's 2014. So, happy 20th. This has a commentary and a featurette on the DVD. So, if you want to get this, get the DVD of it. Have some fun. Just turn your brain off and just have a good laugh. So that's uh, Baby's Day Out, number four, my, of my box office bombs. Uh, bombs that I enjoy, that's the key thing. They're not box office failures that deserve it, in my opinion. So keep that in mind. Anyway, stay tuned for part six, and I will see you in a little while.